Hello everybody, um, I'm coming to you from my uh, brand new base camp. Um, it's crazy, I, uh, I can't believe it. I'm um, beyond blessed to uh, go into the new year like this. Um, look at this, this it's an old ass grill. I don't set myself on fire again um, in all seriousness um, first of all cheers to making it to the end of the never ending 2020 um, cheers to that I want to talk to you guys um, just really quick you know I, we've went through a lot in 2020 and personally, we went through a lot together in 2020. Um, I've gotten to know a lot of you through uh, this wonderful platform that we have. Um, and uh, I think, you know, if you know me, you know, I, I like to find, I, I try my hardest to find the positives in the negatives even as deeply negative as this year um, but I really really believe that there are some things that we can take away from this year um, I think one of the biggest things is how much we have uncovered um, as human beings what I mean by that is how many issues deep-rooted issues we have finally stood up to and said enough enough is enough I think that's maybe the proudest thing that we can take away from this year is that you know whether it's politically racially socially climate wise um, I think people this year especially are sick of it. They're sick of the bullshit. They're sick of the lies. They're sick of the, you know, expecting the higher ups to just take care of everything. We have uncovered a lot of the ugly about what truly goes on um, in our world. And I think moving forward, that's something that we have to stick to and not let our foot off the pedal and you obviously know how I feel about our incoming president very happy um, but even so we have to keep him super accountable if anything there is more pressure on him to do better than that other guy um we have to make sure that the things that these pretty wonderful people are promising, they they keep their promises. Um, and I'm very hopeful. I'm somewhat what they say, um, what they call an optimist. Um, and I do truly believe that better days are, 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 are coming. And then obviously, fucking pandemic hold that note. fresh girls they have a lot of room now and it's hard to keep track of them fresh come here hello freshy come here Um, the pandemic. Before I start this topic, um, please don't judge. It's just been one of those years. I'm gonna have a sig. Don't judge, please. It's 
It's been one of those years. Um, I think what the pandemic showed is how fragile we are as human beings and how fragile our healthcare system is. Um, however, got to give credit where credit's due. We developed the fastest vaccine in the history of the world. Um, most of the top nation's leaders have already taken the vaccine. When it's your turn, please take the vaccine. Um, there is not a Microsoft chip going into the vaccine to track us. Um, the only way we will truly be able to get past this is once the majority is vaccinated. That way this virus can't live amongst us anymore. And we could start, you know, seeing our families. I haven't seen my parents in a year and a half. That sucks. And I'm close with my family. A year and a half. I'd like to see my family again. You know, they live in New York, but going to New York right now is like traveling to another country. With quarantines and all this shit. So please, just just do the right thing. You know, wear a mask. Practice, you know, social distancing. It's either, it's, it's obviously easier said than done for some people. Um, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, you know, the pandemic, is, is, is really, you know, straining me and, and, you know, I feel trapped. I'm fortunate enough to have, first of all, a home, a yard, you know, access to food and water. And I know a lot of people out there don't have that access right now. And a lot of those people don't have that access for the first time ever. So I'm not gonna sit here and, and you know, expect everyone to you know follow the rules and, 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 and just just do it it's obviously harder for a lot of people but just try to stay responsible as, as, as responsible as you can um, and then hopefully we will get past it hopefully 2021 is the light at the end of the tunnel it should be it should be with everything in place, it should be. So, I come to you pleading to the right thing. Be responsible. Hopefully the government could start helping people out more. And I think the light is at the end of the tunnel. It's a long tunnel, but I think the light is there. <sighs> Fuck. Is anybody else exhausted? Can't turn on the news? Can't you can't go anywhere? Can't see your your friends, your family? Anyways, guys, I hope 2021 brings you so much happiness and and, and health and, and comfort and safety. Um, now, personally, oh my goodness, personally, I want to say thank you from the bottom of my everything from the deepest part of my soul. You guys have lifted me up more than I think you will ever know. You know, I've been beyond fortunate to have, you know, a couple films come out this year. Lone Star is about to come out. 
you guys have been so supportive, and so loving. And, you know, I've said this before, there's mornings where I don't want to get out of bed. I, I, I don't want to do anything. You know, I feel like this is all for nothing. You know, it's, it's, a, it's just, it's just a sad reality out there right now. And, uh, you guys are my fuel from the hundreds even thousands of people that reach out to me and let me know how my you know silly videos affect them or instagram lives or conventions or photo or whatever anything you know the fact that that makes you guys feel better for even a moment that's all that's all i need that's all i need to keep going it's so much more about it's so much more about all of us you know it's it's not it's not just about me it's not just you know how how am i feeling today i i want to make sure you guys are doing okay as well you know we got to look out for each other we got to treat each other with kindness treat each other with respect it's about time and yeah, we may not agree on a lot of things, but we can't, we can't keep hating each other like this as a society, as a country, as, as, as a planet. We can't keep mistreating this planet. I mean, this is all we got. This is all we got. And God willing, we have people in the White House in the new White House, who are willing to solve this issue and make this planet livable. <sighs> so, if you're with someone this new year, give them the biggest kiss you've ever given anybody. Give them the biggest hug you've ever given anybody. Call your family, tell them you love them. Tell them you are so grateful for them. And, you know, we don't know when we're going to be able to see our, our family and friends again, but it's, uh, it's just something we have to do. This is what we have to do right now. And please listen to the professionals, listen to the scientists. I know it doesn't make sense a lot of the time, and I know it seems beyond frustrating and, and annoying, but people's lives are at risk record number of people are dying every day we have to do our parts we all have to do our part right now and I'm sorry to get you know down on you guys but that's what we have to do I love you guys I am um... I really do. You guys are my anchor, my rock, my support system. Thank you for everything. I hope to make you guys even more proud in 2021. We have some crazy shit coming in 2021. And then hopefully one day I can travel to your countries and meet you guys in person, give hugs and hellos and high fives. And things will be okay again. There's my little New Year's spiel. I'm sorry for if I was rambling, but this is the stuff I think about every single day. I love you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay kind. Happy New Year.